Megalodons and ancient crocodiles reigned as the ultimate marine predators. Megalodons ruled the deep waters, while prehistoric crocodiles dominated the shores, overpowering their foes. Though it's hard to imagine, there were creatures that rivaled them in prowess. Some were larger than crocodiles and megalodons, others boasted more advanced teeth, and a few even tackled large dinosaurs. In this video, we'll explore these formidable animals that could intimidate crocodiles and megalodons and uncover fascinating facts about them. Let's get started. Gigantopithecus Gigantopithecus shared many similarities with modern orangutans. It was mostly a herbivore and seldom attacked other animals. Despite this, its imposing appearance might deceive one at first glance. It could stand as tall as 10 to 13 feet and weigh an enormous 1,000 to 1,300 pounds. Gigantopithecus existed on Earth 100,000 years ago. Their extinction was caused by climate change, which significantly reduced their preferred fruit diet. It is believed that this giant ape coexisted with Homo erectus, our earliest ancestor. The climate change created fierce competition between the two species for food, and our ancestors had alternative food options, which enabled them to survive. Unfortunately, Gigantopithecus couldn't find a replacement for the fruit diet, which eventually led to their extinction. Do you think humans and Gigantopithecus would have coexisted peacefully if food wasn't an issue? Share your thoughts in the comments. Spinosaurus Spinosaurus is considered one of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs, which obliges it to be included in the list of the largest and most intimidating prehistoric monsters. The remains of Spinosaurus were found in Egypt in 1915. At the time, there was bewilderment among archaeologists, as some were convinced that these were the remains of the famous T-Rex. Scar's fossils, which were said to be destroyed during World War II, couldn't clarify the picture. In particular, it was unknown how big or small the dinosaur was compared to the T-Rex. Later, more and more remains were discovered, and these findings put an end to all the questions that had stumped specialists. Spinosaurus grew from 40 to 50 feet in length and weighed up to 7 to 8 tons. Experts were also able to establish from the remains of the skull that its snout was similar to that of a crocodile. This means that it was able to stay in the water for a long time and therefore fed there as well. Its mobile, versatile size allowed it to hunt giant turtles, crocodiles, and other dinosaurs. Scutosaurus Scutosaurus is an exceptional prehistoric creature that cannot be compared to any other animal. Its possible appearance can be seen in images which show that most of its exterior surface was protected by rock-heart armor. Experts discovered Scutosaurus about a hundred years ago in Russia and named it Shield Lizard or Lizard with a Shield in English, which is very appropriate. This creature was around 11 feet long, weighed about 2,000 pounds, and had thick bones and bulky muscles, making it a very difficult prey for predators. However, its main problem was its slowness due to the weight it carried every day. These creatures were similar to prehistoric buffaloes that roamed the floodplains of Eurasia in herds just like modern cows and buffaloes. Although they were herbivores and quite harmless, they would behave like elephants or rhinos if encountered today, trampling anyone who posed a threat. Gorgonopsia I present Gorgonopsia, or as it's also called, the face of Gorgon. This formidable animal was once considered something between a mammal and a reptile. Perhaps it was this combination that gave it such an unusual and creepy appearance, but scientists still agree that the main reason was the unusual bone structure of the animal. Gorgonopsia had pointed long teeth and long fangs, and the structure of its ear holes was similar to that of an ordinary mammal. The only thing that might remind one of a mammal is the way it moves, specifically the structure of the leg muscles. It's not known whether it had fur or scales, so it can hardly be called a reptile. The largest individuals could reach the size of a large bear. Interestingly, the five-inch fangs appeared in these monsters during the evolution of carnivores, which means that they were excellent hunters. Surprisingly, Gorgonopsia is one of the least known prehistoric creatures, about which only true experts know much. They certainly know that this is not an animal that would be pleasant to encounter. Arthropleura 
Encountering crawling creatures can be an unpleasant experience, especially if you come across a millipede that's over eight feet long. However, you can rest assured that such an encounter could only have happened 290 to 314 million years ago. Arthropluria is known to be the largest millipede that ever existed. It's interesting to note that despite its enormous size, this creature was still able to move quickly and comfortably. The remains found by archaeologists indicate that it was quite agile and had no trouble coordinating its legs. According to scientists, the impressive size of this genus was due to the high oxygen content in prehistoric times. In contrast to today's 21% oxygen content in the atmosphere, which seems significant, the oxygen content in those times was as high as 30%. It's worth noting that Arthropluria was not a predator, and its diet allowed the animal to remain satiated for a long time. Astraspis Evolution is the best friend of animal species that suffer abuse. The perfect example is Astraspis, a fish that evolved from helpless prey to a much stronger and more resilient creature. However, it took several million years, but still, Astraspis survived mainly because of the nutrients that were scattered across the prehistoric seafloor. This made it desirable prey for predators, as it happens with all non-carnivorous creatures. Thus, Astraspis became food for almost all other ocean-dwelling creatures during the Ordovician period. Eventually, this creature was hunted so often that it evolved. Astraspis developed tougher armor for its head and body, protecting it from cunning predators such as the first sharks in history. Unfortunately, by increasing the strength of its external protection, Astraspis gained weight. At 8 to 10 inches in length, an individual could weigh several pounds, which, of course, reduced its speed and agility in the water. Nothosaurus Nothosaurus is an uncommon genus that is associated not only with prehistoric reptiles, but also with lizards and snakes. This confirms the conjecture of many researchers that both Nothosaurus and Thesaurus are descendants of dinosaurs. Nothosaurus lived during the Triassic period, which was some 247 to 200, and one million years ago. This animal can be recognized by its characteristic features, a 13-foot long, thin body, and long, elongated features. Unlike dinosaurs, Nothosaurus was very comfortable in the water and had a lifestyle similar to what we can now observe in seals. What makes this animal really frightening is its unique way of hunting. Of course, it could just grab and eat fish and other marine mammals that happened to get in its way but its exceptional ability was to dig up creatures hiding on the seafloor. Once the poor prey was found by Nuthosaurus, it had no chance of survival. However, all information about Nuthosaurus is only speculation, as no expert has yet found meaningful evidence about its way of life. Perhaps this creature is a distant relative or an early ancestor of our modern lizards. Codermy Placodermi were very long sea creatures that existed during the Devonian period. They were 32-foot-long creatures that were most often found in shallow waters in Morocco, the Americas, and even Europe, according to some records. In addition to its terrifying appearance, Placodermi is also known as one of the most formidable marine predators. It could swallow several schools of fish at a time, and it did so very quickly and spectacularly. Fortunately, this creature no longer swims in the oceans of our planet, so small fish can be at ease. Thanks for watching. Let me know which prehistoric creature impressed you the most in the comments below. See you later.